So the most important fact about D-dimer test is that in many common clinical scenarios a positive result is almost meaningless and can more and can, and can cause more harm than good. So it's a rule out test, not a rule in. Rule out, not rule in. It's a primary power comes from a negative result which reliably tells a doctor that a patient with low pretest probability doesn't have dangerous blood clot. No, you know, like a pulmonary embolism or deep venous thrombosis. It has terrible, terrible specificity. Specificity. A positive D-dimer test is incredibly non-specific. It can be elevated by dozens of conditions that have nothing to do with dangerous clot, including, my beloveds, being over 50 years old. <laughs> the, the level naturally rises with age. Actually, why? No idea. It's a lot of speculation. Ah, pregnancy. Cancer. Recent surgery or trauma. Uh, you name it. Infection or sepsis. Heart or liver disease. So, a clinician misinterprets a positive D-dimer in an elderly or hospitalized patient who is almost guaranteed to have a positive result anyway, and orders a high radiation contrast dust computer tomography scan, and this leads to a dangerous cascade of over-investigation, over -investigation, unnecessary radiation, exposure, potentially uh, kidney damage from a contrast, of course, and immense cost, all from misinterpreting a test that should never have been ordered or should have been interpreted using uh, age-adjusted scale. So in the description of this video you will find two links. And clicking on the links you will go to my YouTube channel uh, Dr. Y, WHY, and will find two lectures concerning this dimer. If links are not active, it happens, just click in searching mode YouTube, Dr. Y, WHY, D dimer. Stay blessed.